The following contest is a submission match. That is for the WCW Heavyweight Championship. Six foot four, over five hundred fifty pounds. Success in the Sumo Arena only topped by his WWE success, Yokozuna. This man once held the WWE title for nearly 300 days, and I think he could easily repeat that success again. Man, look at the size of Yokozuna. Even more impressive than his sheer size is his ability to move around the ring like no one else. A horrifying blend of size, speed, agility, and power. The Hall of Famer, Big Papa Pump, a tag team and singles legend inside the ring. Already a Hall of Fame worthy career as a tag team wrestler, now has quite the singles resume. Well, that's because nobody would want to tag with Scott Steiner anymore. Um, Byron, the New World Order disagrees with you. We are about to see some wrestling skill and absolute power on display. And afterwards, Big Papa Pump has a hell of an after party plan. The freaks will be out tonight in full effect. And Byron, don't even bother. No, you're not invited. I didn't even ask yet. Well, the answer is still no. Introducing the challenger from the land of the rising sun, weighing in at 558 pounds, Yokozuna! And his opponent from Detroit, Michigan, weighing in at 275 pounds, is the WCW Heavyweight Champion, Scott Steiner! Look at the adjective, championship. WCW was the biggest competitor to WWE for nearly two decades, even eclipsing WWE's popularity for a long time. So winning a WCW branded title is a big deal. Well, they called it where the big boys play for a reason. To be a champion in WCW meant you were among the best in the world. You're right, except for the time that that movie star and the writer won the title. Otherwise, it's pretty much been the best of the best. Just a good old toss for the leg. I'll just leave it at this. Nobody comes into a match hoping to get chucked around like that. 
Pressure on. Yeah, Yokozuna is executing his game plan. Returning to the ring now. Kendo stick impact. Good defense. Oh, man. Any one of these attacks could cause irreparable damage, but I don't think you can come back from, from the middle rope. Oh, misses the mark. I oh, had that well scouted. But Yokozuna still has to do more to get this fully in his favor. So how do you best prepare for a submission match? They're so unique in WWE. Take your time. Submissions are most effective when your opponents drain, so don't expect to win right off the bat. This is going to be a long road. Free reign to the outside with no count outs to worry about. He's heading back to the ring. Just blasting back with an elbow to the face. Boom! Running STO plants him. Nicely done. Intimidate. 
elimination factor. Yeah. Hip attack. Oh, that got turned around on Yokozuna. <laughs> Fires back with a crucial elbow. This one's over! Standing! 
doing some dangerous redecorating. I think the table really ties it all together. Reversal after reversal, proving they did their homework. Right into the corner now. Uh. Oh man, setting them up on the top rope. This isn't going to be pretty. They're way up there. <laughs> this is going to be catastrophic. And that's going to jam Scott's offense. Coming back in the ring. Shifted. Oh, and soon we could be seeing a submission here. Oh, targeting the shoulder with the claw. Give up now. Swallow your pride. Tap out. There it is. Yokozuna is now your new champion. Here is your winner. He begins here. Safe to say things did not go to plan here tonight. Yeah, no one ever plans on losing their title.